Akiyama is one of the main characters of the famous manga Liar Game, a con artist who bankrupted a major corporation as revenge for his mother. In the manga, he is initially tracked down by the main protagonist of the show, Kanzaki Nao, in order to help her recover the money she got swindled out of. The manga starts with round 1 of the Liar Game, and the first round, each player was given 100 million yen, which is roughly 1 million dollars, and an opponent. They were given 30 days to steal as much money as they can from their opponents, using trickery without violence. The players have to return the 100 million that they were given initially and whatever they win, in the process, they can keep. Na was given one of her past middle school teachers, Fujisawa Kazuo, as a contender. Luckily for her, right? Nope. Because she was naive, he tricked her into giving him the money, lying that they both will keep it safe in the bank until the end of the month. And she realized this later, luckily not too late. She strikes a deal with Akiyama to split the prize money 50-50 if he can help her get that money back. So this is the main context of this show. Let's dive deeper. One of Akiyama's methods of victory is the application of psychological warfare. A. Putting people in an abnormal state of mind. Demoralize them, irritate them or create an, an imbalance somehow. No matter how calm or cautious a person is when they are in an abnormal situation, they become weak. Thus, Akiyama decides that the main objective is to put Fujisawa, their enemy, psychologically in a corner. And to do this, he has to follow a series of steps. Step number one, declaring war on the enemy to create pressure. Akiyama instructs now to pay her opponent a visit and make a declaration of war. She does, Fujisawa becomes more paranoid and fearful that his money and position are in danger. Remember in a previous video when we talked about how you should internally wage war on the enemy to keep your morale high? It's quite useful to keep your intentions discreet, so you can catch the opponent by surprise. But in this case, both contestants are aware of the situation, so Akiyama took the other approach, since he can't use the element of surprise. The next day, Akiyama does the same thing and declares war as well, further instilling fear in the enemy, threatening to take the entire 200 million, not just a piece of it. Akiyama states that he has the perfect plan on how to do so, adding more fuel to the fire. Fujisawa is becoming more stressed by the minute since he is thinking in his mind, what plan is Akiyama talking about? Fear feeds on the unknown and Akiyama just created a piece of the unknown. Another piece is the fact that it has become a 2 versus 1 game. It's way more difficult to take on two opponents. So this is driving more and more fear into the mind of the enemy. Step 2. Watching the enemy at all times. Akiyama rents a house near Fujisawa's in order to keep an eye on him at all times. Both now and Akiyama are now taking shifts, watching the house. This step is crucial for three reasons. First, it creates more psychological pressure knowing that you are watched all the time like a lab rat. This makes Fujisawa uneasy. There are 20 plus days left before the end of the month, so this will only get worse with time. Second, it provides them with knowledge on Fujisawa's whereabouts and habits which might solidify into real concrete intelligence that can be used later. And third, it protects them in case the cops are called so they aren't charged for harassment. Days pass by and their surveillance does come to fruition. Akiyama concludes something. Since their enemy stopped going to the supermarket in other places, he is probably hiding the money inside the house and not necessarily in the bank. I mean, just ask yourself, what is the natural response for being watched 24 hours for days? Naturally, Fujisawa should have moved somewhere else to alleviate himself from the pressure, the enormous psychological stress of being watched. After all, the natural inclination is to hide somewhere the enemy can't see you, somewhere close to where you hid the money because you can't be sure the enemy didn't dig it up. So to protect ourselves from the paranoia, we must stay close enough 
yet far enough from the enemy's eyes. This is the reason why he concluded that the money is inside the house. Step 3. Using Intel and creating a fake crisis. In order to test this hypothesis with few props, they had to create a fake crisis. They faked a fire in Fujisawa's house by forcing the smoke from the house vent outside and used a boombox to fake fire sounds. This illusion doesn't have to be perfect, it just have to drive Fujisawa out the room. So this launched Fujisawa into panic and because he didn't call the fire department or leave the room, they concluded that he was hiding the money inside, in that specific room. Even in his state of panic, he didn't. To instill in him more fear, Akiyama told him about this fact which made the teacher even more terrified. In such an abnormal state of mind, he confessed and revealed his cards. He showed them the impenetrable safe where the money is hiding. So again, the more stressful a person is, the more they are likely to commit dumber and dumber mistakes. Step 4. Making a powerful display of confidence. You can't really play a game of psychological warfare without being confident, without having a mindset for victory without convincing other people that you are going to win or have the tools for winning. A bluff is all about confidence. By displaying confidence in himself, despite Fujisawa's revealing the impenetrable defense that is the safe, Fujisawa fell into a cognitive dissonance. Despite knowing the safe is super powerful, Fujisawa's mind couldn't handle it, so he had to adapt with Akiyama's unpredictable confidence that he felt simply cannot be faked in that instant. If Akiyama panicked once the safe was shown, uh, he wouldn't have had the same effect on Fujisawa's mind. Cognitive dissonance happens when there is an inconsistency between a person's belief and the environment. Example, a smoker who knows smoking is bad, but still does it, falls as victim to dissonance. He feels stressed because of it. So he has to escape this dissonance by changing his belief into one that supports the action of smoking. For him to feel well, he has to feel a consistency between his actions and beliefs. Okay? So the smoker now believes that the scientific research on smoking is inconclusive and yet open to debate. This way, he can peacefully smoke, without guilt. So, Fujisawa adapted to the new reality and accepted that Akiyama must have a way to get that money. Fujisawa fell into greater stress because of this. Although in this instance, Akiyama wasn't actually bluffing. Remember, demoralization is a crucial step for psychological warfare, and Akiyama crushed Fujisawa's confidence completely and demonstrated this confidence when it was crucial. Step 5. Making use of decoys when the enemy is not watching. Weeks passed by and Fujisawa's psychological state got worse and worse from all the isolation, anticipation and stress. Afraid of loss, he made sure the safe was even safer and ignored the outside world completely. Taking advantage of this fact, Akiyama made a fake liar game notice to convince the enemy that the committee will come around 5 p.m. in the last day. Fujisawa saw the notice and waited with patience, and so did now. So for Akiyama's plan to work, he needed to deceive both Kanzaki now and the enemy, okay? With time getting closer, being it the last day, Kanzaki now went full bananas, went desperate because She's indebted 100 million, her life is ruined, so she's getting stressed. Since Akiyama's plan is nowhere to be found, so she went crazy, pleading for Fujisawa's mercy. Three hours remaining for the pickup, two hours, one hour, 30 minutes, 10 minutes, with Akiyama nowhere to be found, now fell into complete desperation. Seeing his enemy desperate, Fujisawa is now growing more and more confident in himself and his victory. At exactly 5 p.m., Akiyama sent the decoy committee that announced itself, followed the procedure of counting the money, and explained what will happen next. Fujisa was very happy and very confident, confident enough to ask no questions. And just like a lamb led to the slaughter, he gave away the money. The real committee actually arrived at 6 p.m. one hour later. And since he was completely convinced by the decoy letter, he completely lost the game. 
Step 6 or Lesson 6 Sometimes to fool the enemy, one must fool the allies as well. Akiyama tricked now because he knew she can't act to save her life. He orchestrated a perfect scenario for Fujisawa to give away the money without suspicion or doubt that some trick is being played. Sometimes you have to trick your troops and allies to make the con genuine. And the best way to fake a genuine response is not to fake it at all. First, he demoralized uh, Fujisawa the entire month to crush his confidence and reveal where the money is. Then he overwhelmed his cognitive abilities in order for him to lose track of the surroundings like the mail delivery box and timeline. Confused and tired, he didn't even consider the potential that the letter is a decoy. Then, Akiyama built his confidence back to assure him of his perfect victory by tricking now that she lost all hope. People are extremely vulnerable in moments of desperation and in moments of complete victory. In victory because they feel that the struggle is over, no threats are out there and they can simply relax. Exposing people to immense levels of stress, then offering them a possibility for salvation is how con artists and manipulators break the resistance and win psychological games without fighting. Lastly, step 7, convincing your opponent that they have already won so they become careless to what you are really planning. This is a central strategy to Akiyama's method that we will continue to see in other rounds in the future. Anyway, I have news to make. The People Watching Notebook is finally upon us. And I will publish a video about it right soon. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like or watch one of my other videos on the subject. I'll see you there.